Hi everyone, this is Joe Seosin with another Site25 tutorial video. On this tutorial, we will be going over how to calculate the percentage of a variable based on the number of participants surveyed. So we're going to go ahead and focus on the four variables you see up here. As you can see, there is percentage of participants that are between the ages of 15 to 21, percentage of participants that are district residents, percentage of participants that are females, and percentage of participants that are full time. So the first variable we're going to focus on are the percentage of participants between the age of from 15 to 21. So we're going to start with group one until we reach group six. So in group one, you can see that they surveyed a total of 24 participants and out of the 24, 20 of those surveyed were between the ages of 15 and 21. So in order to find that percentage, what we need to do is hit equals, click the number of participants that are under uh, that were between the ages of from 15 to 21 divided by the total the total number of participants and hit enter and there you should have your percentage but in decimal form so you can do the same thing for each of the independent variables or i mean each of the independent groups and variables however if you want to make it easier you can simply just click this little green box, hold it, and drag it all the way down until you get to where you want it to be. In this case, to group six. And once you release it, you should, you should have all your percentages right there, yet still in decimal form. Now you can do the same exact trick for each of the other variables you see here. However, in order to do that, one thing you need to do is hopefully you saw where I clicked right after the division symbol aka the forward slash place a dollar sign and then hit enter and then we're just going to do the same thing however vertical this time that way we apply it to, e to everything to all the percentages we have already and then we click, hold, and drag it all the way across. And there we have our percentages, yet yeah, still in decimal form. And now you might be wondering, how do I get it as a percentage? Easy. Don't click out just yet. Below this box as it's general, you just see a percent style button. Click that. And there you have your percentages. Easy, right? I hope so. So moving on, we will now be focusing on the bottom half of the spreadsheet where we will be combining the data for both the convenience and cluster sampling groups. We will also be calculating the percentages for those as well. So this is where the color coding comes in. The blue represents convenience, the orange represents cluster. So focusing on the convenience sampling groups, we're going to just combine all the totals together to create one total sum. So in order to do that, all we need to do is hit equals SUM for sum. We're going to start with total participants. So you're going to click, hold, and drag to reach the last value for the convenience group and hit enter. And there you should have the total number of participants surveyed for convenience. For cluster, the same thing, will, the same rule will, will apply. So you're going to hit equals sum start at the top of the cluster groups in terms of the total participants hopefully that makes sense and you're going to click hold and drag so in this case it will be 12 32 and 18 you're going to close it or just hit enter doesn't matter and there you have your totals 
for both the groups that had convenience sampling and the groups that had cluster sampling. So now focusing on the other variables, an easier way to find the total for those is to simply click the total number of participants. In this case, which we're gonna do it for cluster first. You're gonna click this little green box, hold it. Oops, click this little green box, hold it, and drag it all the way across until you reach the last variable and release. And there you should have your total for each independent, each individual variable. Same thing for cluster. Click, hold, and drag. And there you have it. All of the totals for uh, both the convenience and cluster sampling groups. So the next thing we're going to do is find the percentages for both sampling groups, similar to what we did above for all of the six individual groups. Focusing on the convenience group for now, we are going to find the percentage of participants that are between the ages of 15 to 21, in which we have a total of 68 out of 82. So to find that percentage, similar to what we did above, we're just going to put equals, click on the amount or the number of participants that are be, that are that are of that age range divided by the total number of participants and then hit enter and you can do that for each of the individual variables but to make it easier you can go ahead and just click on the cell and right after the, the division sign put a dollar sign Go ahead, go ahead and hit enter and then click hold and drag and you should have your percentages for the convenience group as for the cluster we're gonna go we're gonna put equals 44 hopefully you saw where I clicked divided by the total number of participants for that group enter Click on that same cell, put a dollar sign, enter, and then click that little green box, hold it and drag it. And if you want to make all of this percents, just highlight everything and click the percent style box, and you should have your percentages for both the convenience and cluster sampling groups. So the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is learn how to make a graph using the newly found data. So the first thing we need to do is highlight all the new percentages we found. Click the insert tab. And where it says recommended charts, click on that. Scroll all the way until you see a visualization called clustered column. It should, it should be the third one. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and move it. And there you should have your bar chart. So looking at our new visualization, there are a couple of things we need to do in order for it to be APA styled. The first thing is to get rid of the chart title. So just simply click on that and hit delete. The last thing we need to do is get rid of the of the grid lines. And in order to, to do that, just simply click on the grid lines. Not that. Click, click on the grid lines. And if you did, if you did it properly, you just see these little dots on the sides of it. And simply hit delete. And there you have your APS style graph or visualization. 